One of the Varani women. Hmm. Must have followed a mercenary band over. Maybe one of them herself. Doesn't much matter now. Fared pretty well, though. All right, then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name her, I think we're done. Put her with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. Thank you. I, if you hadn't come along, I, wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You. You were dead. It worked. By the dome, it worked. You're alive. Uh, well, uh, you died. I don't know how or even where. But your body was remade in the Well of Souls, and somehow, it worked. The Well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Oh my, you don't know? Perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tawatha Deon, the enemies of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion, I... I don't know why they are here. Hughes may have the answer to that as well. You must stay alive and reach him! Professor Former Hughes, the Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming in through the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! Well of Souls is just ahead. You'll see. And... and... it works! It restored you to life! There will be plenty of time to explain later. We've got to get going. He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. Let me get this door, and we can be on our way. at you, even with all you've been through. The Tuatha, your return from the dead. Please forgive me, you must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomerus Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alastar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the Well of Souls, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another.
The Fae are complicated. I could write ten volumes on the effects of immortality on their pseudo-feudal court system alone. I am Fomerus Hughes, scholar of Vivification Prime Circle. We're standing above my life's work, the Well of Souls. There's so much to learn about you, though. I, I imagine it's all a bit muddled. The side effect of the prismere, the shape of the basin, no, no. If only we had more time. I wish I could tell you more, but your death is a mystery to me as well. It seems that your memory died with your body. You see, the well is designed to capture the soul of someone recently deceased, recreating their physical form within its waters. Simple, really. Your rebirth is the first we might truly call a success. There have been others, but the results weren't quite right. You don't know. They're called the Tawatha. They were once fey folk of the Winter Court, but they've been twisted by their Lord Gadflo. But how could they have found us out here? We're miles away from the front lines. The war has never touched Dalantarth. And why attack the well? Too much to explain right now. The Tawatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. We're in the Feylands, miles away from the front lines. I thought we were safe enough from the war. But it seems some of the Tuatha found their way here anyway. Absolutely not. I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... you're... Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... <clears throat> Perhaps I should go see. Sir! Sir! Mr. Hughes! The dwarf have reached the lab! That inside the oh. ah. No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Follow the path to the town of Gorhart. Find Agath. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! Oh, my God. 
Remember you. You're. You're the one? How did you come back? How did you find me here? When I saw you with Ensel in the well, I ran. But it wasn't because I was afraid. I was coming to report that Hughes's experiment had succeeded. The Well of Souls is bigger than just one gnome's pet project. My contact pays well for information about its progress. I just send reports to make some money on the side. But I don't know how the Tawatha found out. This has nothing to do with them. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. I promise you, if I knew who it was, I'd tell you. Sharing research is one thing, but academic sabotage is a crime. I don't, I don't have... Okay. Here. It's all I've got. Plus what I got paid for the information. I don't want any part of this. I'm going home to Odessa. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old Fate Weaver, eh? Fate Weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes's success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. You really don't know much, do you? A Fate Weaver taps into the threads of fate and channels that energy through a focus. My order prefers cards. The cards are unique to each Fate Weaver, since we all see the weave differently. I wish I could, but times are tough. I've barely got enough to pay my bar tabs as it is. You, you're the one. Then that means it all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. That one must be stopped. <laughs> Another victim. Let us feed the soul. 
Reichel. Threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? Hughes may have brought you back to life, but that was still part of fate's plan. Nothing short of a god can do what you did. Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes, other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much. Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. I can see the threads around you, but they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. It could mean nothing. Or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one. But that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yolven. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean? <laughs> 